So, you're probably wondering why I'm laying on the ground like this. Well, my back hurts. And you can probably relate as well. Given the current circumstances right now, we're all stuck in our homes. We're sitting a lot. A lot. But today I'm going to be showing you some exercises to fix those back problems. Back problems interfere with your day-to-day -day life. But no worries, I have these easy exercises that I perform every day just with a few tools and your own body weight. Before we get into this video, please hit that subscribe button because if you like videos like this where I'm laying on the floor with a camera above me, um, it's kind of interesting. I think it's cool. So I think you should hit the subscribe button. I hit the like button as well smash it, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss another one of these crazy videos. All right, I am uh, gonna get up off the floor and let's get started. Oh, that's right, my back's in pain. <sighs> Much better. So before we get into this, just a quick disclaimer, if it's not obvious, I am not a doctor of any kind, nor my chiropractor or a physical therapist. This is just the exercises and the tips that have helped me the most in relieving my back pain, keeping my posture on point, keeping my back loose, free of pain, and I wanted to share them with you because I believe these could help you as well. No matter what your job, your lifestyle is like right now, I guarantee you are sitting in a chair, on the couch, wherever it may be. Back problems don't just come from sitting though. This can be your posture off the bat. Personally, I think this is where most of my back pain comes and it's just the way that you carry yourself. There's no really way you can try to hold yourself in a different posture and be like, okay, I gotta have my shoulders back. I mean, you can at some level, but our posture is involuntary most of the time. So the best bet at actually correcting your posture, getting rid of back pain, is by strengthening the weaker muscles within your back. So first off, I'm gonna start with some of the exercises that I use as soon as I hop out of bed, right in the mornings, and these are gonna help prevent back pain, and like I said, strengthen some of those muscles in your back that may be lacking and throwing your posture off. Back problems might not even be from sitting or your posture. It may be from actual physical activity, or it could be a health condition you have as well. But regardless of where your back pain is coming from, these exercises, these tips will help alleviate that back pain at some level. So back down to the floor we go. Off the bat, we got a little exercise I like to call cat-cow. Get on your knees, make sure your shoulders are lined up over your wrists, and then you're gonna bend your back inwards and outwards in this sort of motion. I don't really even know how to explain, but just give it a try. Make sure you're not forcing this exercise and that you are doing it with ease, not actually putting pressure or tensing up at all. When your back is in the position of kind of rolling up like a camel, make sure your head is down. And then when you're arching your back up and your head comes up again, you're gonna wanna roll it backwards to get that full stretch in. Because especially from a lot of sitting, you're not using those muscles. So just waking up and doing this first thing in the morning is gonna be activating all those muscles right off the bat to start your day off with a healthy back. Do about 15 to 20 of these and you should be good to go for exercise number two. So next up, we got this hamstring stretch where we're gonna lock our knees out, sitting on our butts, and lean as far forward as we can without bending those knees. Once again, do not force this. Make sure you are completing this exercise with ease. You don't wanna be tearing nothing, pulling something in your back. Bend that back over like you're reaching for a cookie. All right, so once you get a good 20 to 30 seconds in of that stretch, you're gonna wanna roll backwards right onto your back and pull your knees into your chest and sort of get your butt off the ground. This is gonna really stretch your lower back. You're gonna feel it. So just give your knees a, a nice little hug. Give those knees all the love you can. Hold that as well for another 20 to 30 seconds and we're good to go for the next exercise. All right, next up, exercise three. We're getting back into the same position as exercise one. Push up position on our knees. You want those shoulders right over your wrists. And now we are going to be extending our right leg out straight like an airplane. And we're gonna be extending that left arm out as well. And you're just gonna hold that position. You can pulse them up and down if you'd like. And now we're gonna switch and we're gonna do the other side as well. Right arm up and we're gonna do that left leg up on the other side. And man, should you be feeling this one. This one feels amazing. So hold this for about 10 to 15 seconds for each side. 
and then we should be good to go for exercise number four. So for exercise number four, we're gonna be doing deep squats. Get your feet into a good stance just under your hips and you're gonna be squatting down as low as you possibly can. So drop that booty down and try to keep your back straight when you're doing this. Hold it as low as you can. Just relax and let all those muscles within your leg, your back, just stretch themselves out. I'll hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds. And we're moving on to exercise number five. All right, next up we got cobras. You're gonna be looking like a cobra for this one. Lay down on your stomach flat out, put your hands under you like you're gonna get ready to do a push-up. So for this one, the best way to do this is by activating your back from upper down to lower in sort of like a smooth motion. So you're gonna arch your back up all the way by starting with your neck, bring your head backwards and feel that stretch. So arch your back up all the way until you've activated every muscle within your back there and then bring it back down, releasing from the lower back and then up to the neck by the time you get back down to the floor. So do about eight to 10 of those. Your back should already be feeling better at this point. And we're gonna be moving on to exercise number six. All right, so exercise number six might be a little difficult, but just do it to the best of your ability. These are back bridges. So you're gonna be laying flat out on your back, bring your knees up so your feet are right under your butt, put your arms backwards as well, and you're gonna sort of arch your back into a bridge position. If you can't do this exercise, no worries. But if you can, bring that mid back as high as you possibly can and just stretch. This one is probably one of the best exercises, especially for your lower back. Watching yourself in a mirror can definitely help with your form on this exercise. So give that a hold for about 15 to 20 seconds. You can pop your butt down and bring it back up if it's getting too difficult. But after you're finished, let's move on to exercise number seven. All right, for this exercise, this is going to be very targeted on your glutes and your lower back. And if you're really feeling that you're tight in your cheeks, this one's gonna help a lot. So lay backwards and you're going to lift one of your legs up, put it over your knee in this position so that your ankle's right under your kneecap and you're gonna be pushing on that knee at a 90 degree angle there. So just push, not too much so that you're in pain, but that it is comfortable still and feel that stretch throughout your glute and up your lower back. That one is amazing. This is one of the most relieving stretches, especially getting rid of lower back pain. So give that a shot. Hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds, switch to the other side, do the same thing there, and now we're moving on to exercise number eight. All right, next up, this is especially helpful for upper back pain. So what you're gonna be doing for this is standing up, going against a wall, putting your arms straight up in the air, and leaning while trying to keep your elbows locked and your shoulders and your arms straight and just bend to that point that feels comfortable. Don't push it. This is going to help release all of that tension in your shoulders, your upper back, all in that area. I personally struggle with upper back pain the most, I think, so this is one of my go-to exercises. Hold that for about 20 to 30 seconds, lean into it a few times in sort of a pulsing motion and do about 15 to 20 of those and we'll move on to exercise exercise number nine. So exercise number nine is pretty similar to the first exercise, but this time you're gonna be laying that back against the wall, sort of get down in a squat position, stick your hands right up above your head, flat against the wall, and now bend them at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna bring your arms up and back down just like that, completely straight above your head and then back to that 90 degree angle on both sides. Make sure your elbows, your shoulders, the back of your hands, try to keep it in contact with the wall for the whole motion of this exercise. This is gonna really open up all those muscles in your upper back and it's also gonna help fix some of that posture. So do about 15 to 20 of these and we'll be moving on to exercise number 10. So exercise number 10 is probably the most relaxing and rewarding of all these exercises. You're gonna be laying flat out on your back, just like you're going to sleep, but not quite yet. Bring one of your legs completely over onto the other side, but you wanna keep your opposite arm flat against the ground. So bring that knee over while keeping the opposite arm touching the ground, and you're gonna feel this amazing stretch that you can literally just fall asleep to because it feels that comfortable. Hold that for honestly as long as you want. Fall asleep, take a quick nap if you want. Switch to the other 
other side and hold that one for about 30 seconds to one minute as well. All right, so I guarantee your back is already feeling 100 times better, but now I wanna show you a few tools that you can use to help with those back problems, especially if you have a lot of knots in your back. These exercises are sorta of gonna help move that blood flow through your body and they'll eventually go away, but knots in your back usually take some time to disappear on their own. So unless you have a masseuse or a massage therapist in your house, you probably don't have anyone to do this for you. So these are the best tools I've found to help get rid of those knots on your own or any sore spots within your back that have helped me, not just help me, these have been a lifesaver. So I'm gonna show you guys these tools really quickly as like a quick bonus. So check these out. If you don't have a foam roller in your life, you are missing out. Hop on Amazon, grab one there. I have a link in the description if you wanna pick up the foam roller that I use. So you probably guessed how to use a foam roller. You're just gonna throw it under your back and roll out your upper back. I like putting one arm backwards and sort of rolling out each shoulder wing and then I'll start moving down towards my lower back and into my glutes. A big thing I've noticed is that a lot of lower back pain comes from actually having tight glutes. So make sure you roll your glutes out. And I know this can be very painful, but it is so worth it. Breathe through the foam rolling and it's gonna benefit you in the end. Tool number two, grab two tennis balls. It could be one or two tennis balls and you're just gonna throw them in a handy dandy sock. If you have some used socks somewhere and you got one left over, you lost the other one, just grab that. Throw the tennis balls into the sock and then tie a knot over those two tennis balls and wha-bam. So I'm gonna show you how to use this now. You go up against a wall or you can lay on the floor and you're gonna put it right behind your back and whatever that spot is that you're really feeling a knot, you could be super sore, wherever it is, and you're gonna roll on that spot back and forth. Again, this is painful. Bear with me, roll it out, come on. Once you've really found that sore or knotted spot, you can let the ball sit right in that spot. Just hold it for as long as you can. So hold that constant pressure on that knot so it can loosen up and release back into your bloodstream. I use these tennis balls probably every day when I have a knot in my back that I'm really trying to get rid of so helpful give it a try thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys learned something and that you are going to be able to fix your back problems with these exercises and tips that i gave you and start moving towards a life without nagging back pains because who wants that take care of your back you're gonna wish you did especially when you're older start putting these exercises these tips into action now so get rid of those back pains and i'll see you guys in the next video peace